another video to demonstrate the torque at standstill. Uh, I cleaned up my table a little bit so that uh, you guys can see there's no cheating. So I got the motor here and now it's strapped in with um, duct tape to an anchor point. Uh, it has a bit of preload, then it goes via the motor and then this handy scale, a luggage scale. And as you guys can see there's no sensor connections. Here we have the three phase wires. They go to the controller, which then has uh, power. This is the main uh, battery power. And then this is the 15 volt. And I mean, that's all the connections there are. And as you can see, LEDs are off, power supplies are off. First, let's turn on the scale. It has a button here for resetting. Okay, turn on main power. So this is the power that supplies the output stage. And then once I switch this one on, torque will be generated. 3.9 kilo. Now what I can do is I switch it off again, everything off. Just to show that it's not a pre-programmed phase, which is in there. I will, as you can see now it's black, yellow, gray. I will swap out, I will move the wires All one over. This basically changes the electrical degrees by 120. Mm, now it's different. Right. Let's see. Let's reset this thing. Right. Switch on the power again. This is the main battery. Processor still off, and then I switch on the processor okay, like before. Basically, shows that I can swap these wires around and that there is no um, uh, fixed offset programmed in the microcontroller. I've had it now up to it indicated around 3.9 kilo. I had it up to 7.6 with the highest phase current that I can get with my power supply because the power supply can only do uh, 2.5 amp at 65 volt but I mean it almost rips this thing then off the, off the table <laughs> so I decided to show it with a bit lower value.